Hi everybody, Andrew here. Um, welcome back to another video tutorial. So this is the first video in which we're actually gonna get into scripting, yeah. And the purpose uh, for for this tutorial is to so we have we have these th uh, four uh, cubes here, and the, the objective is to create a move, rotation, scale, and universal manipulator, and then assign each one of those to a you know to one of the cubes yeah so each gizmo will have its own cube assigned to it and then we can use the gizmos to transform those cubes um, all right so now I have created a script in which I'm gonna be writing all the code it's called creating gizmos um, but uh, what I like to point out is that inside the runtime transform gizmos folder you have a scripting tutorials folder uh, after I'm finished with the tutorials, this folder will contain all the scripts that I've written during the during the videos while making the videos, and I'm also gonna write lots of comments so that you guys you know might want to just um, read the scripts and just review some of the stuff that that, that we've discussed during the video. Um, and yeah, I thought I thought this would be useful as a you know um, when, when reviewing some of some of the stuff discussed in the videos. All right, so uh, let's just jump into uh, writing our first gizmo script. So I'm gonna open up this file. Okay, it's okay. It's actually already yeah Visual Studio. I'm using Visual Studio. You're probably using Mono Develop. Uh, Visual Studio is not responding currently. Okay, now it is. So uh, I'm gonna delete some of this stuff that I don't need. All right, I like to start with a clean slate. I'm gonna be work. I'm gonna be working in the uh, RTG namespace. Yeah, uh, the RTG namespace is where all uh, the um, all the plugin scripts reside. Yeah, so we, you need to uh, work in this namespace, or you can just you can just use uh, RTG, right? Uh, but I'm I'm just gonna put this functionality inside the RTG namespace. And I'm gonna create a start function. All right. And now inside this start function, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a gizmo for each one of these cubes, and then I'm gonna attach the gizmo to that cube. Yeah. So let's let's start with the move gizmo. I'm gonna say something like this: object tra object transform gizmo move gizmo equals rtg rt gizmos engine get create object move gizmo yeah so uh, let's let's just see what we've done here uh, we have this class object transform gizmo and let me just write a dummy line of code here all right so uh, this might seem a little bit confusing but it's actually quite simple yeah, so in Unity you have game objects, and to those game objects you can attach mono behaviors, right? Now in in uh, in RTG you have gizmos, which is the equivalent of a game object in Unity, and then you have gizmo behaviors. This class object transform gizmo derives from gizmo behavior, which is the equivalent of mono behavior in in Unity, right? So uh, this function it gives us this gizmo behavior called an, uh, an object transform gizmo uh, and this object transform gizmo actually has a reference to its parent gizmo yeah uh, okay so uh, we have a, we have the move gizmo available and uh, now what we need to do is we need to assign it to a game object so I'm gonna say uh, game object target object equals let's see uh, I'm gonna use this wooden cube here uh, game object find wooden cube right and now I'm gonna say move gizmo set target object target object all right and now in order for for this gizmo to actually um, show up we need to create a, a, a game object I'm gonna say create empty and I'm gonna say uh, and I'm gonna attach the create gizmos script to it right and now if I click on uh, on play, we should see a move gizmo show up on this on this wooden cube. There you go. We have a move gizmo and we can move it around. Yeah, we can uh, do stuff with it. If 
if I hold down the shift key, I can move along the camera view axis. Now let's just say that I want a vertex snap. If I want a vertex snap, I'm gonna press the V key, but unfortunately, as you can see, nothing happens. Yeah, I'm pressing the V key, but I can't seem to be able to select any vertices. And the reason for that is because we haven't actually told Gizmo the, you know, what is the actual object that will contain the source vertices, yeah? Um, so I need to write something like this. I'm actually gonna rename this to object move gizmo. There you go. And then I'm gonna say move gizmo, move gizmo equals object move gizmo. No, actually, yeah, object move gizmo, gizmo, move gizmo. Okay, now your head might be spinning at this point. Yeah, you have like uh, move gizmo here, then you have like object move gizmo dot gizmo dot move gizmo. Okay, so what's what's this all about? And let me let me just clarify. So basically, uh, as I said before, this is just another gizmo behavior, right? If I uh, press F12, you can see it derives from gizmo behavior. So this class here, move gizmo, uh, it's actually, it does, uh, what it does, it, it takes care of rendering the gizmo inside, uh, you know, inside the scene. And whenever you click and drag one of the gizmo handles, it generates drag values. Yeah? So it, it moves the gizmo around. However, the move gizmo class does not know how to move objects. It just, it moves the gizmo and it generates certain drag values. And it's, it's the responsibility of the object transform gizmo, which is another gizmo behavior, to intercept those drag events um, and analyze the, the like the drag values and apply those drag values to the target object. And in order to support vertex snapping, we actually need to use this move gizmo class. Move gizmo set target, uh, sorry, set vertex snap target objects. And we're gonna need to create like a list. Sorry, we need uh, system dot collections generic list game object, uh, and we're gonna use our target object here, right? All right. So now, if I uh, switch to play mode again, if I hold down V. You can see that now, actually, because we've told Gizmo what is the target object for the for vertex snapping, uh, we can now actually select the vertex and then we can left click and snap the object around to the grid or to other objects. Yeah. So uh, the target objects that we've the target object that we specified here is not the the objects that we're snapping to. The objects that we're snapping to are always the you know the objects that are visible um, to the camera. Uh, but th this target object is the actual object that allows you to that contains the source vertices yeah um, so yeah okay that's it now uh, let's uh, let's move on to creating the rotation gizmo this one's actually um, you know what I'm, I'm just gonna say here object transform gizmo all right so it can actually use the same name yeah, for the rotation gizmo. Object transform gizmo equals RTG gizmos engine dot get dot create object rotation gizmo. Yeah, so we use the same class, but we use a different function. We create a rotation gizmo this time. And uh, let's see, the target object we're gonna use is the target of which we're gonna use this object here, brick cube. Brick cube. And then we're just gonna say, object transform gizmo set target object and that's it now we should have a working um, rotation gizmo in the scene there you go we have a move gizmo and this one right here and a rotation gizmo now let's move this okay yeah so we can use the rotation gizmo to transform that that object right there yeah hold down control to snap uh, this is something I forgot to mention. Yeah, you can, you can hold down Control to snap. Yeah. Okay. And uh, there you go. Now let's move on to the scale gizmo. Uh, we're going to be using the same exact code, but a different function. 
create object scale gizmo and uh, we're going to be using the grass cube grass cube all right yeah so there you go we have a scale gizmo here and we can use it to scale this cube all right and finally we will create a universal manipulator but what what, I'm, what i want to do first is i just want to uh, increase the distance between uh, these cubes uh, so it's 0, 4, 8 actually and this is actually 12 I believe yeah okay so again copy paste we're gonna use the same code here we're gonna have create object universal gizmo and then uh, rock cube There you go. Yeah. So we now have a universal gizmo for this rock cube. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, this is that's it for this for this tutorial. Again, I just wanna I just wanna explain what's happening here. Again, like so you have uh, you have the gizmo class. Uh, which is basically like the unity game object class and then you have gizmo behaviors yeah which are like the mono behavior and then you have uh, in this particular case you have a move gizmo which uh, it's it's it takes care of actually drawing the move gizmo in the scene and generating drag values and those drag values are intercep intercepted by uh, the object transform gizmo class which is responsible for actually applying those those drag values to the game object, the target object that we specified here. Now we can actually specify, uh, there is a, a different function which is called set target, uh, set target objects, yeah? We can actually specify more than one object and uh, this is gonna be, I'm gonna talk about this in a future tutorial, but for now I just wanted to show you how to create gizmos and assign them to a single object. All right, so uh, in the next video, what I'm going to talk about is I'm going to talk about how to enable and disable gizmos. And uh, we're going to pretty much build like a simple, like a really simple uh, gizmo management system uh, where you can actually switch between different gizmos uh, using hotkeys. And it's going to also contain like a simple object selection uh, functionality in there. Yeah? So you can actually actually select objects and, you know, uh, then switch between different gizmos and, and, and so on. Alright, so uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I wish you a nice day. Bye-bye.